In this video, I will explain the difference between client-side rendering and server-side rendering. If you have worked with the React applications, then you must be familiar with client-side rendering because in React, unless you are using the server-side components, everything is rendered on the client-side. And if you are using Next.js, in Next.js, all the pages are rendered on the server side. So let us try to understand what is the difference between these two. So first difference is that it's pretty straightforward. HTML is generated at client and that's why it is called as client side rendering. Okay. While in server side rendering, HTML is generated at the server side. As the name indicates, it is very obvious that it is saying that client side rendering. That means the HTML that is being generated because the browser needs HTML, right? HTML and JavaScript. So if the rendering is happening at the client side, then it is called as client side rendering, which React uses. And if the rendering is happening on the server side, it is called as server side rendering, which happens in the next JS. For the client side rendering, server is optional. If you do not have the server, that is also fine. You can put all the files that are generated on the CDN and then still you will be able to access your website. But in case of server side rendering, since the rendering is happening on the server, we need server. Without server, that server side rendering will not happen. So that is another major difference. Next difference is that client side rendering is not good for the SEO, search engine optimization. And why it is not good for the SEO is because the browser gets the JavaScript. It doesn't get the HTML content. Okay. And once it gets the JavaScript, it has to execute that JavaScript and then create that HTML. And that is not a fast process. So, and that's why the search engines do not like this behavior because they don't have anything to crawl on the page. They have to wait for the JavaScript to execute. Once that JavaScript is executed, then HTML is generated and then search engines have something to crawl on that page. But in case of server side rendering, what happens is that since the HTML is being sent by the server to the client, the HTML is uh, rendered on the page immediately. So the search engine do not have to wait for the page to load. It is very fast and that's why server side rendering is good for the SEO. And the last point is also related to the SEO itself. Since the JavaScript is getting loaded on the page, it has to execute that JavaScript and then HTML is generated. That's why initial page load is slow. Subsequent uh, page requests will be faster, but the initial page load is slow. But in case of server side rendering, the page loading is very fast and which is good for the SEO. That's it. These are the major differences between client side rendering and server side rendering. Thank you for watching.